Hello guys, I am Nikos and I'm very excited to present to you a new book by Quality Says, written by the Romanian grandmaster Michal Marin, one of the most popular authors around. And in an opening where Michal has more than 20 years of experience and many readers from all around the world have been asking for it, a book on the Pierce defense. So let's go quickly and see what Marin has to offer. The book starts uh, by examining uh, the most critical variations for white first. And first, Michal goes uh, for the classical variation with knight f3 and bishop e2, which is indeed one of the most critical. Here, Michal goes for the most well analyzed and sound theoretical continuation, which is c6, and after a4, queen to c7, followed by rook to d8 and e5. Of course, after bishop g7, uh, besides bishop e2, which by the way is a move that has been played by giants like Karpov and Geller, there are other moves like h3 and bishop e3, where Marin once again goes c6 with similar play um, with bishop e2. Then we move on to my least favorite system for black, the Austrian attack. But here Marin uh, has done an, incredibly, an incredible job. Uh, once again, he goes for the most sound continuation, which is c5. And after bishop b5 check, bishop d7, e5, knight g4, e6, most of the people are afraid to go to this line, and especially to follow the critical main line, which leads to this draw by perpetual check after the queen sacrifice first played by uh, Shay Ravan. And I know many people who don't really like to have a forced draws in their repertoire. Here, Marin goes on to examine this line with all the white alternatives in great detail and in very clear explanations. But also he has to offer an, an alternative way for black to play if he wants to avoid the draw. And I think he goes on for a couple of, pa of pages to, to explain what is going on here. Really impressive stuff. But if we go to the move c5, actually today there is another trendy continuation for white, which is after the move queen a5, the move queen d4, which, if I'm not mistaken, was um, suggested by one of the quality chess editors, Andrew Grit, in one of his own books. And after that, the move got really popular. After castles, White doesn't really want to take on d6 because after knight takes e4, as you, you see the e file will be opened, and white doesn't really want bishop d2, and after uh, knight c6, queen c4. But once again, here Marin offers a very clear uh, continuation for black. Black really has no problems. So if we, uh, if we move on, there is another continuation which is very popular in the club level play, and this is bishop e3. For example, here if black plays bishop g7 after uh, queen d2, c6, bishop a6, Marin goes on to analyze this line in some detail, and uh, after takes, takes bef uh, queen a5, he thinks that black should be quite okay. But uh, uh, his conclusion is that m black should play c6 instead. And the idea is that after queen d2, uh, black doesn't need to move his bishop, and he can play, for example, b5, knight bd7 is another move. And if white goes for bishop h6, black takes, and he's a full tempo up to the line we just examined. So with this idea in mind, after f the similar bishop f4, once again c6 is recommended, and after bishop g5, once again c6 is recommended. And uh, this particular line is quite important because it was suggested by another quality chess book called Playing 1e4, written by John Shaw and the quality chess team. And here Marin, after queen d2, um, recommends knight b2 d7, which is a really nice idea, which we missed in the Playing 1e4 book. And after f4, which is the most critical, Marin goes for a quite different structure and um, his analysis is quite impressive here, very convincing. So, yeah, bishop g5 shouldn't be a problem for black after all. Uh, one of the um, chapters that I was 
particularly pressed was one of my favorite moves which was bishop c4 because when i was a junior i was told that here i can sacrifice my queen and uh, after the following moves you will see that white gets three pieces for the queen and a large lead in, in, in development and uh, this is exactly the reason why many analysts avoid this uh, to recommend this line for black but Michal doesn't here he offers bishop e6 and after uh, f4 he goes to recommend c5 with a very clear idea in mind followed by queen b6 long castles and d5 and uh, black is fine and in many cases he even plays for a small advantage of course Michal goes on to examine the uh, other sidelines as well his repertoire is quite, is quite complete and uh, what I was impressed about was his explanation about who should play this opening. According to Michal's opinion, the pitch is a strategic opening, but, it's, uh, but there are many cases where you have to attack or find a combination, either to defend or to finish the game in your favor. So really, uh, only um, if, if you want to play the pitch successfully, you have to be uh, a universal player. So if you feel that uh, this opening is uh, is for you, then go on and, and buy this amazing book, my Michal. Till next time. <laughs>